Like, uh, in order to make Hunter great, you can't make it as aggressive as Pirate Warriors, I think. Or Pirate decks. Uh, it just doesn't have the tools for it. Yes, it has burst at the end, but the other decks have, like, just a little bit less burst and so much more longevity. You can't make it mid rangey because the mid range cards aren't as good. That's been tried, the stats have been there. So I'm going to try to stay away from that. And you obviously can't build a Control Hunter deck as well as Reno decks. So therefore, I think the way to build this, and I'm not even trolling here, is to just go hard on the Cloaked Huntress theme, which seems to be the only thing Hunter has going for it, because Secret Hunter was a viable option last season, uh, last before Gadget Sand, and just put in like the hand buff mechanic, which is worth trying, it hasn't been explored enough, and certainly not with Hidden Cash. It's like the two circles kind of collide with Hidden Cash. Uh, so we're gonna get some cash money, yeah. and Genzo, you know, Genzo doesn't get much love, but this seems like a great deck for Genzo, you drop your hand, you play Genzo. Yeah, one of the major uh, problems of Hunter, which is why it can't really be a control deck, is its lack of card draw. It's a known problem for Hunter. So, what can you do other than Genzo, really? Your soul shall be mine! Let the hunt begin! I think the mulligan is for exactly... Secret Keeper, obviously. Oaked Huntress. Maybe when I'm going second. No, I know I really want to dig for Cloaked Huntress for Eagle Horn Bow. Cheeky Zip Gunner is actually better than this. Probably. We'll toss it all. Alright, we have a heavy hand, and Genzo. It's okay, I can play Genzo once I've uh, run out of cards, also. It's been said that this deck might can Arena Lock just because the hero power is pretty good. Yeah, the high main is pretty slow, but it's such a good card. I'll just play Genzo as a 5 4. 4 mana 5 4 isn't great, but it's not terrible. Just imagine if I had a lot of secrets here. Could have played Cloaked Huntress and then followed up with Genzo. Anyways, it seems solid. My 1 of Freezing Trap is pretty good in this matchup. We've got three cards in the hand that want to be buffed. The only two hand buffing cards in this deck are Hidden Cash and Shaky Zip Gunner. But this card isn't bad when it doesn't get buffed. This card isn't bad when it doesn't get buffed. This card is bad when it's not terrible when it doesn't get buffed. Like, when I thought about what could possibly make Hunter good, the thing that I thought of was Doppelgangster. That card, uh, when you shaky zip gunner into Doppelgangster, could actually be good. Like, that's actually a powerful play. 5 mana for 12, 12 of stats. Wow, womp well, womp. Well. <laughs> oh. Oh. Shields up. Oh, saved. Ish. I'm 
ready to make some money with Genza. Money, 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 money. I should probably put in one Don Honcho. I thought it was going to be counteracted by Genza, but... And to some extent it definitely is. Oh, Genza. And we're dead in the water. How good is Rat Pack if it doesn't get buffed? Anyways. Maybe it's not good enough? I do have a lot of cards on three already. Could kill the Rat Pack and then put in Don Honcho. Okay, this is this is all highly experimental. All right, I think the Rat Pack isn't actually good enough in this deck, mostly because I don't have Handmaster in it, and also because Beast Energy doesn't even matter in this deck. And I already have a lot of good cards on three. Uh, then we get Don Honcho in here. Maybe we put in like one more trap, because the traps are all Hunter has going for it. Or what's another card we could put in? Barnes? Let's see, Barnes can get Secret Keeper, Cloaked Huntress, Shaky Zip Gunner. Shaky Zip Gunner is pretty good. Alright, we can try in Barnes. We're not really focused on the buff mechanic. We just have Hidden Cash, which is ideally played for free. So you're just getting a plus two, plus two. Uh, you have just a generally good three mana, three, three with plus two, plus two. Uh, Dispatch Kodo isn't bad by itself, but with buffs, it's better. Doppelgangster is the one card where buffs do matter, but when you get a buff on Doppelgangster, it's it's really insane. Victory or death. Let the hunt begin. Man, what a world we live in, where Explosive Trap is a card that I'm really happy to see against Ori. When I'm Hunter. A big draw for building this deck was Explosive Trap. Because it is the cheapest answer to dealing with these early game minions. Am I a genius? <laughs> I hope I have an answer to Frothing Berserker. Ooh. Okay, so the rest of the hand is uh, not ideal right now, but that opening was pretty good. Uh, problems this deck has against aggro is no taunt, no heal, the classic. Uh, but at least it is a at least it is a it, at least it has explosive trap. Maybe uh, this stops the bleeding and we can pick up the aggro from here. Or apparently that opening is good enough. All right, what a success! Right, right. We completed our quest, are we done with the deck? No, more science. So where is Explosive Trap? Whoa, hey, there we go. Shaky Zip Gunner Doppelgangster, that's the dream, right? That's how I reviewed the card. I was thinking like, 
Shaky Zip Gunner and a turn four Doppelgangster. Could be the way. Could be the path. That ex uh, that uh, Eagle Horn Bow is obviously good, but it feels too slow against pirates. Hey, Explosive Trap. We're in. And do Explosive Trap in the Shaky Zip Gunner into 33% of the time it hits Doppelgangster, which is great. Hitting Dispatch Kodo is pretty good. Hitting Savannah Hyman is terrible, but I figured Savannah Hyman is so good that I can't cut it from the deck, even though it hates getting buffed. And I have five cards that buff things in the deck. But it's just too good to remove, I think. The bear trap is also a uh, decent anti aggro in other news. Two mana, three, three taunt, or zero mana, three, three taunt. I could consider one Savannah high main in the deck because two is too many and zero is not enough. It's possible. Trap is actually a good card to play against face Salmon. And that because I have the mana. I could have tried Secret Keeper Barnes and then tried to get a uh, Cloak Tuntress and then played two secrets for free. That would have been pretty good. <laughs> Don't worry, Lux. The cavalry's here. <laughs> Tonight, a ten. Wow, the two doppel gangster hand. Also known as the face of despair. Okay, this, this card isn't that bad by itself. I was just unlucky that they didn't get buffed. That's the that's the cool thing about Dolph Gangster. It's it's not it's obviously not great when it doesn't get buffed. It's but it's not that bad is the key. It's not that bad. All right. So next turn he has six damage. Needs three for the W. Oh, 
true. Justice? It's not really a win harder card, because you actually need to catch up with a very powerful turn 5 play. No justice. Be, oh my gosh, justice. See, the big first obstacle for Hunter is making sure it can win against aggro decks. That aggro deck didn't play uh, especially well, but it got there. I, I, my draw wasn't that good. I actually got really lucky by a dispatch code getting buffed. Anyways. You asked for it. Let's the hunt. That's probably the best card to keep. I can toss trap against mage. Oh, the dream! The dream. Zip gunner doppler gangster. Can do it. Greetings, traveler. Do I even play freezing trap turn one? Turn two. He didn't play babbling book, so probably. The end is coming. The death rattle on this card's nice, but the three three part is also pretty good. I think I'm going to go three into five, regardless of the buff into six. No, trust me. Hmm. I'd rather that card not get returned, but not the end of the world, I guess. I could do these two. No, I'll do that. Still a 5-4, even though I want to play it at the end, uh, probably gets removed the turn I play it anyway, so just playing it as a 5-4 is fun. And now we're on a 50-50 for Doppelgangster. What to do? Can I light your fire? Oh my gosh. Polymorph me. Never polymorph. I'm not ready. Never polymorph. Tricked. Why not run a copy of Call of the Loud? I mean, obviously considered, but it costs a little too much. Opinion me. The first puzzle of this uh, deck is making sure it survives against aggro. And there's a lot of puzzles to Hunter. The, the first question of which is why play Hunter? But once we get past that uh, initial question... Hmm, I wonder if I should play around uh, MC Tech. I guess it's tough too when you play Doppelgangster anyways. If I take the flame strike, the Doppelgangsters don't get flame struck, I suppose. Yes! Every deck needs an element of unfairness, and I figure the only thing that can save Hunter is this uh, shaky zip gunner, doffle gangster tech. I wonder. That really is one of the most efficient plays in Hearthstone, the two card combo. Oh, this doffle gangster just multiplies your effect by three, and that effect's already pretty good on the shaky zip gunner. 
The main problem is getting it to land where you want it to. Oh. Mm. Oh wait, I won. Wait, did I win? Yeah, I won. Oh, sweet. I could also try the buff rat yet again and add that two drop trog rager beast trog beast rager and then add back in the rat pack anyways lots of lots of science to be done still with hunter which is a pretty unexplored class I do feel like whatever direction it's taken though, but the secret direction is probably the way to look. Partly because explosive trap, bear trap, and cat trick are so good right now. And hey, if you actually start with a uh, secret keeper, you can get a good start against this opening. Wow. Patches and the Buccaneer cleared with my one drop. Isn't that incredible? Tricked. I would cast a spell. Seven seven? Ah, Jade Lightning. Probably don't want to play the explosive yet. I do want to make sure that it's not so good to get flame tongue there. I guess there's my attack on Titan. And then we've got the Doppelgangster, 100% buffed. And Doppelgangster is actually good against that deck since uh, they have no AoE outside of Maelstrom Portal. You said Super Greed, but I won't. 4 mana 7-7, seven, seven. 5 mana 12-12. Twelve, twelve. I actually don't know if this triggers if you have no minions in your hand. I want to science this. Oh my, well, okay, fine. It doesn't trigger, I'm being told. Okay. That's kind of nice. You can play the hidden cache with an empty hand. I'm really hoping to draw Doppelgangster. To be exact. I think I can leave Azure Drake on the board. It's a good card to get X freezing. Spell damage is a little scary though, isn't it? It's a little bit scary. Oh, <laughs> seven, seven. Hardly a problem. Also, I should probably just freezing trap that. We'll handle this. 
It's not like you can get a favorable trade either way. Do you think Dawn is actually good, or are you still experimenting with it? Uh, a more accurate answer is, I think this deck is bad, but I'm experimenting with it. Maybe we can find something good out of Hunter yet. Maybe. So the main problem is even if you do include the uh, card draw mechanisms, there's no card, there's no catch up mechanism. If you fall behind, you cannot catch up. Explosive trap is it, but suppose they have things with like two or more health, then you still lose. The only uh, catch up mechanism that I believe that hunter has is unleash the hounds, but that isn't generally good enough. It's like arcane explosion, no heal, no taunt. No AoE other than Explosive Trap. No damage other than Explosive Trap and Quick Shot and Eaglehorn Bow and Dispatch Coda. Back to the dumpster!